Once you've finished your subscription purchase, you'll be sent an email. Click the link in the email to be taken to the online account activation page. The information here will be used to administer the account, so this will be the admin's login information. Again, that might be you. Enter the email and a password and click Create Your Account. Now you've created your online account and you need to set up a primary user. This is the information that will be used to activate In5 from within InDesign. If you'll be the primary user, your email address is already here and you can either use your account password or you can uncheck that box and set up a new password. If you're the admin but won't be using In5, put in the primary user's email and set up a passcode for them. When you're done, click Create User. Now you can see you've set up your first primary user. You can also see that it shows you how many users you have available in your plan and how many you've used. You can also see that there are zero activations of this user. That means nobody's set up yet to use In5 in InDesign. In the next several videos, we'll set up the activation for a user or multiple users, and we'll also look at how to manage users from inside the online account.